Hello, this is a walkthrough of Force and Motion, Force and Motion Basics uh, Investigation. This is for part one. Hopefully you've already made a copy of this. We're going to be exploring the effect of force on acceleration. We're going to be using a FET simulation to do this. So first of all, um, we'll be looking at using FET, Force and Motion Basic Simulation, to create a graph of acceleration versus force versus for a 50 kilogram crate on a frictionless surface. So we are going to open the simulation. So go ahead and do that now. And then we're going to select the acceleration version. And then we'll go ahead and check all the green boxes is what it says. All right, so let's go ahead and open the simulation. We hit play. We go over here to acceleration. We're going to go ahead and check all the boxes. And then we're going to put friction at none. All right, next it says hit pause button and or hit the pause button and click the double arrow down here to increase the force to 50 newtons. Then we're gonna hit play and record the force and acceleration in a copy of this spreadsheet. So let's go ahead and make a copy of the spreadsheet. So it looks like we already have our forces put in and we're gonna put in the acceleration for the crate in this column right here. So first thing we do, we hit pause, then we're going to hit 50 newtons on this. We can see right here that there is 50 newtons of total force on it because there's 50 newtons applied and there's no friction or anything else. And then we can see over here that it reports out the acceleration. So next thing we do is we hit play and we record the force and acceleration. So I'm going to hit play, which is right here. And then we can see that the acceleration right here is one meter per second squared. And so we can see that speed slowly increasing, but that's not important. We're just looking at the acceleration, which is one meter per second squared. To pause this so that it doesn't um, kind of fly off the screen or anything, what we're gonna do is just drag the crate up and then put it back down and it will stop it. So we'll record our data. For a force of 50 Newtons, we got an acceleration of 1.00. Next, we are going to, so it says stop the crate by grabbing it with the mouse. We just did that. Next, we're going to repeat steps four and five for a force of 100 newtons. So I'm going to go back here. I'm going to hit pause. I'm going to go down here and go to 100 newtons. I'm then going to hit play and see that the acceleration is now two meters per second squared. <coughs> Lift this up to reset it. And we'll go ahead and record two meters per second squared. You're going to keep doing this all the way until you get to 500 newtons. After you finish getting all of your data all the way down to 500 newtons down here, what you're going to do is you're going to switch the crate for a refrigerator. So you're going to drag the crate off the screen after you've gotten all the way to 500 newtons. And instead, you'll drag the refrigerator on the screen and you're going to repeat the process for 50 all the way to 500 newtons on the refrigerator. So for example, this one is 0.25 meters per second squared. So what I would do is I would go over to my spreadsheet and for the refrigerator, I'd write 0 0.25. Again, I would do this for all the way up to 500 newtons. After you finish getting all of your data, you're going to use that data to graph it in Desmos. So you can use this Desmos template. You would copy or paste all of your data for the refrigerator and then for the crate into here. Probably works better if you're typing it in by hand. Um, or you can try copying and pasting the whole thing from the spreadsheet. That can work too. And then you'll adjust the slider to see uh, if you can make a line of best fit fit your data. Um, so we've got two options here. We've got a y equals kx, um, and then we've got a uh, y equals ax. So those are both going to give you similar lines, um, but you're trying to fit the line for, um, what do you call it, for each set of data separately. So you'll end up with two graphs or two lines on your um, data set or on your graph. You'll export that per usual, put that in the appropriate places down here, and write your equations. 
After that, you'll be answering some questions. When you increase the force, what happened to the acceleration? What pattern did it follow? And then why are the two slopes of your data sets different? What do you think a steeper slope represents? Do your best to use physics to answer here. That's it for the walkthrough of part one. We'll have a walkthrough of part two um, in a separate video for when we do part two.